and welcome back to RimWorld with Sadie and Trivius. And we are starting our Damn It Josh, The Next Generation. 13.1 came out and there are some fabulous new features and we wanted to show them to you. So we put it around a little bit. Uh, 13.1 got kind of a feel for it, you know, because you don't want to do something too terrible the first moment you play. And now that we've had about a week to put her around in it, here it is. Have fun. We decide to shake it up this time. We're going to go for a... This is called the Arab Scrubland. It's basically your, you know, diet desert biome. Without being the extreme desert that some of the other biomes are. Which, extreme desert, until now, until Alpha 13 was not a thing. Exactly, so... Now it is. I have not messed with it. I'm just going to get everybody their guns, because you never know what's going to happen your first three minutes. Inevitably, for me, something goes, you know... Sideways. Yeah. The, the game likes to punish me for optimism. That's what I've discovered. Gonna unrestrict some of these noms down here. And get them started picking up their guns. Because otherwise, they'll be like, Oh, you want me to pick up a gun and defend myself? What? That's not what we want. Well, Looks... m yep, make sure to set our, you know, villagers onto manual, you know, assignments. Oh, yeah. We're just going to pause right here, take a look. Hey. There's a conveniently placed room. room. Right in the middle. Let's take a quick glance. Uh, we are playing on a larger biome. It's a 300 squares by 300, just to give us a little more room to maneuver. Sometimes the standard default, I find, is just a little cozy. Okay, so the only problem I see with this one is I do not see a handy dandy geyser, and we know how important geothermal becomes as you go. Also, I'm gonna grab all these survival mills that are just conveniently, like, dribbling everywhere. Oh, right here is the geothermal, right by this valley. Now, it's not a prefab room, but I'm pretty sure... Well, there is actually a prefab room-ish right, right there. Right there. Yeah. So, I think we like that one. We can use the other one later for a storage room. What yep. I'm saying is we have a tough shed. And we have a ton of mufflo. Now, here's something new. These are elephants. There's an iguana. Uh, agave plants work just like the berry plants if you've played forest biomes before. We've got some boom rats. And in general, we're just going to kind of, you know, flirpity derp through and see what happens. Um... We are starting off with some old friends from our last one. We have, oh, look right here. This is one of the new things. Female cougars. Um, not all female, some are male, of course. Uh, but cougars can be trained to hunt for you. Also, cats. Cats came out. And where is my pet? Oh, we got a Yorkie. Well, a door named Chubby. <laughs> no. Oh, we got a Chubby Yorkie. Damn it, you're going to be mildly useless, but you're cute. It's sort of like pug nose. I have a theory that little dogs are cute to make up for the fact that, you know, they don't really do much other than be cute. So we're just going to make a little zone here. Throw up a stockpile zone. I want to get it under wraps, but what do you say we use this back part here as just sort of indoor storage for right now? Okay. I like that idea. So, I like to take my stockpile zones, make them big, and then take one part in the middle, delete a zone so that people can walk at least through it. I suspect we're going to be mining this away soon. Yep, so, I see the... Uh... Yep, some goodies there. So we're just going to go ahead and make that like that, and we will arrange that a bit as we go. It's going to give him a bit of hauling to do right now in the beginning. Oh, poor Emily. She is getting horribly sick right now. While they figure out their hauling, we're going to start sending them up. Manual priorities, please. Firefighting, patient, doctoring, bed rest, and flicking. Uh, flicking, it sounds like such an awesome verb. Those are all things that we set to our highest priority in the beginning. Because we don't want them to decide in the middle of when we're trying to give them an order to, like, you know, take a nap. All right. Oh, my gosh. The dog is barking. It is cute. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. All right. 
let's see, warning, we're going to flick that on, zero social skills. Well, we don't want you talking to people, then do we? <laughs> so we'll select our best social for our warning. Animal handling, we've got some decent, we've got eights and nines here. I turn it on, at least for everybody, because the last thing you want is someone to forget to feed an animal while somebody else is sick. Yeah. That is not our plan, man. No. Nope. Um, Again, animal handling is one of the things that they will do, um, you know, once a day till that animal's been interacted with, and then they that's done for the day. So there's no real negative to leaving it flicked on for everyone. Okay, so our best hunter is going to be Josh. We'll see how that goes. We hit Josh a firearm. Oh, boy. We like living dangerously here. <laughs> Okay, flick on some construction. Repairing, I put that to ones because if it's busted, I need you to fix it, not to look at it. Unlike my actual real house, which needs everything. Okay, we have growing of eight here. Flicking on mining for everybody. We'll get picky with that in a moment. Plant cuts on. I'm going to just flick on the arts, smithing, tailoring, crafting. We will need that later. Putting up hauling to one, if there's something to haul, I want that grabbed. Also, speaking of mining, we have installed a handy-dandy mod called Train Miner, which, as it sounds, you click on a, you know, little, yeah, like right there. So click on it, and it will, you know, select everything in that vein. Mm -hmm. Handy-dandy if you just don't want to uh, deal with it. Yep, especially when they, you know, because you, you can only click on what's visible. So you click on, you know, the two you see, and then you have to keep telling them to go back and click on the same. We love our villagers, but they're a little special at times. And we try to limit the specialness at, you know, to what we can. It doesn't always work. So I think we're going to go ahead and close off right here for our first room. Throw some quick cots in our stockpile, and then... You know, start making them some bedrooms as we move out. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. We are playing on Cassandra Classic today. Um, and on the... What is it called? I will have to think on it. Uh, the middle difficulty. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh, I am derping. I will look it up and I will leave it in the description. <laughs> because you're perfect. I know like 20 people right now are like shaking their heads... And talking to their computers like it's XYZ. And believe me, I know, I just... It's early in the morning, we're having coffee. And the brain has not fully engaged, you understand me? We are not yet there to awake. Alright, so we have our beds, our animal sleeping spot up. I'm going to toss up a wall real fast. Now, I've worked in this biome before. And the first thing you're going to notice... Not many trees. You know what we have a lot of, though? Cactuses. And in a pinch, cactuses work as many trees. So, we're going to have to kind of learn to work around, relying more on stone than wood. But you know what? That is not a problem. Here's one of our new things, a ship chunk. Um, crafting got a revamp, and you will need things called components. And ship, ch ship chunks just happen to be a great place to find those. I'm going to throw up a quick little wooden wall here. And a quick little wooden door. And that will get our people set for the night. All right. So garden areas. I'm thinking right up in here. Gives them a little bit further to walk. But hey. What do you think? Like yeah. That? I like that you like that. So let's zone up some gardens. I'm going to have them sort of sleep through the night. So we're also uh, days and nights. Um got a tooling up with this patch as well the um days are longer and the nights are shorter and i'm not going to sing the rest of that song but if you know it kids hum along <laughs> everybody's going to the google right now they're like wait what so we've got up our potato plant our strawberry plant i'm going to put a little bit of our heel root it is no longer called zero gum it is now called heel root and we're going to put that up right here in our corner as well. And just sort of, you know, get them going on what we need. Right here with our guys, we want to make sure we leave that open because we will need that later. 
Yep, yep. And that should give us everything we need to get through the first few months. So I think now, since our dog is a Yorkie, um, it cannot be trained to haul. Some of the larger dogs can. The only thing you can train your Yorkie for is obedience, i.e. to take orders and defend a master and release, which is attack. Um, Yorkies are little. They will bite very valiantly, but it's sort of like a Chihuahua taken on a mountain lion. Not a great plan. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and flag this iguana for Josh to start hunting, and then we're going to get our butcher table set up. Always a good plan. Uh-huh, because we need some iguana meat. Do you remember the old song Mexican Radio? One of the lines was, I wish I was in Tijuana eating barbecued iguana. Seriously. <laughs> song lyrics of the uh, 80s. And look at this convenient little alcove right here that we can put our butcher table. And I also want to put in the new fueled stove. So fueled stove requires wood to keep it going. And as you've noticed, not many trees. But you know what we do have? Cactuses. You know what you can harvest? Cactuses. The big trick that we I had before is on one of these um, arid scrubland deserty biomes, I had a boomalope... Um, get attacked by a raider, exploded, and the radius of fire that came out from it um, managed to take out like half my trees on the map, <laughs> and so that took some sweet time. Yeah, oh, thank you for, oh, 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 look at this, new lovers. Josh and Emily have come together and are now love, come, come together? R really? Really, RimWorld? Okay, well, Josh and Emily came, and now they are lovers. Yeah. We're just... Okay. Gonna need a double bed there. That's what we're gonna take away from that. <laughs> that's some, uh... That's some phrasing right there. Right here's our agave fruit. Um, I've heard prior that people think that um, agaves come just simply from traders, but nope, if you're in the right biome, you can go get you some. Good to know. Yep. Because apparently we'd be making some tequila up in here. Although, let's be realistic. Heck of a party. So, right now, all of the cactuses and agave that are where we put our growing zones those are all going to get cleared out for our growing zones. Everything up in our original landing spot, almost everything, a little bit of silver still left behind, but they're clearing it out nicely. I do appreciate that these workers seem to actually want to work. Um, that was a problem I've had on some of my previous worlds. Especially when you get that wanderer joins, you don't have control over those people, the stats they come in with. And uh, I have gotten some delightful people. And um, if you hear me say delightful and go, what the heck? Yeah, that's exactly what that word means. This is not uh, set to, actually, let's make this easy. Hey, Emily. How about you prioritize butchering for a sec? In case you can hear it in the background, by the way, yes, that is the wonderful, lovely sound of our chicken laying an egg out the window. <laughs> um, now, which is fine, but oh my god, are they loud. Um, she is currently protesting like she has, you know, laying a dinosaur egg. Hilarious, yet uh, Maggie's going to go butcher right now. So, moving down here, let's see. We are getting set up for the night, hauling in our first few components. One thing I'm going to do real fast is, because I'm an American, I am going to switch over my sweet little Tukus to Fahrenheit. Because, <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> I, I can vaguely convert Celsius in my head, but Fahrenheit works a little better. It is 77 uh, 76 degrees right now. We are on the 2nd of spring. Sounds a little bit like California weather there. Definitely like my childhood in San Francisco. Spring's coming. It's the 70s. Okay. And except for the morning fog, which is like 20 degrees. That will freeze you. But once <laughs> the sun comes out, it's lovely. And here we go. We are planting strawberries, potatoes. People are working into the night. That's what I like to see. 
you know, I'm a fan of naps in real life, but when my video game people start taking naps, I'm not such a fan. <laughs> We're going to set up the stove right now to start cooking. And we do that by adding the bill and cooking a simple meal. I say do it till you have 10. We got three people. 10 meals lasts about three days. One of the other new features we have here is on our butcher table, we can now add a bill to make kibble. This is exactly what you think. It's dog food. Um, it's also animal food. I usually, same thing, put it at 10 for one animal. And butcher, yep. And, then, and butcher human corpses because... Yep. Sometimes you just, well, not just that, but human cor corpses now get prioritized to be making into kibble. Yep. And that works beautifully. And I want them to butcher forever. And when it dies, I want you to butcher it and then get it done. So, so far, nice and pleasant. Everything looks good. We've got our mufflow over here. We'll start taming them once we get a little bit of food in. I really want to get a hay patch started soon. Um, because that will take a lot of strain off of the food stocks for large herbivores. We have some more steel up in here. And I will not say no to that. Elephants. I have not yet managed to tame an elephant in my trial world or here. So we're going to have some fun with that. We have a wall right here, but it's already missing a corner chunk. So that tells me it's not likely to have a big nasty inside of it. Now that's saying, I could be totally wrong. Also, taking a little aerial here, we have a whole heck of a lot of mountains that we're ringed by. Over here especially, and down in here, we may find a valley. Sometimes if you dig deep enough through a mountain, you'll kiss through on the other side and there will be a lovely valley to explore. I've had that happen a few times. Of course, never on camera because <laughs> that's how it works, right? Your yep, best, yep. Your best tribe is the one that's most photo shy. <laughs> Grab that seal there. More seal over here. The... Uh, Rimworld gods were really, really nice in giving us a plethora of steel. I will not say no to that. Also, I hear the sounds of our Yorkie barking. All right, so we've got simple meals in over here. The dog will eat a simple meal, um, but I think we need to get a little more iguana hunting act happening. Oh, Maggie's becoming one with the muffalo. <laughs> All right, where is... Oh, we have a visitor. Uh... A fervent researcher from Witch Doctor's Village is visiting the colony. She has items to trade. So this is a new thing. Other villages will have items to trade. That is an awesome thing. She's coming in from our east, which is cool. Let's take a quick look. Who's got our most social? Uh, we got a nine there. A zero there. An eight there. You know what? Let's go with a nine, okay? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and send Maggie on over and go chit-chat up the neighbors. Oh, they both have something to trade. See these question marks? That means they have something to trade. We'll head over to Kit first, and then we'll see what Lortex is. Now, there is a known issue going on right now where some of the uh, traders that come one-to-one -one will have no money. That's a problem. If that's I'm... usually with uh, spaceships, not yep, traders. That... That's a glitch that we encountered on uh, one of our uh, prior worlds. That's one of the, uh, it's a bit of a bummer. See, right now they both have cash. I like cash. Um, they don't have anything we need, though. So we're going to let them just hang out for a day or two, take in the sights, and head on out. I think we should drop in some trees next since this biome is not terribly giving with trees. What do you think about right up in here? Yeah, that should be perfect for trees. Throw a few trees up, you know. Become one with the Kumbaya and the nature. We're going to go right up there. And we're going to make this a growing zone of... I like oak trees or poplars. They both do really well. You can put in teak or some of the others, but mostly I found it's the oak and the poplars that really manage this biome. So we'll put in some of each. And there we go. We are nearly fully planted. Yep, we need defenses soon. Well, you know that. And it's time to think about rigging up our first solar panel. Where do you want to do? 
Oh, our visitors are leaving. Nice to meet you, too. I kind of like this area here. There's nothing else there. Yep. It's still a good distance to run some wiring, but eventually I want to pull in most of this into a courtyard. Yeah. Okay. So, at, at the start, it will be... You know... So it wants us to name our village, and we were thinking double damn it, Josh. <laughs> because yes. Josh. Because Josh. Everybody's got that one friend. Josh is ours. And we love him. But damn it, Josh. How? What do you think about right in here? Less far to go for now. And then if we can close, we can always dismantle. Yeah. But I'm also thinking this might be a good area to when we eventually narrow it here, to leave this roofless as sort of a courtyard and build the rooms off. Yeah. So people build in different ways. I tend to leave an open courtyard in the middle and then build side rooms off of it. That way um, we've got our light and our open area for animals, but it's still protected. Um, you get some mixed luck with that primarily. What on earth are you girls doing? Oh, we have a mad animal. A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Right there. Rabid squirrel. Let's see. Emily's got a knife, but Maggie's got a gun. <laughs> Where is... Josh is way down here. Hey, Josh. Rather than hauling that mill... Come here, Maggie. Kill a squirrel. Josh... You're going to get drafted, you're going to come right here. Now come here. Really? You still cannot... Thank you, yes. Fire at a squirrel. That was one angry squirrel. Okay, Maggie is now going to go to bed because she's been injured. We're going to take Josh off draft... Josh? How about we come on down here and butcher a squirrel? We can turn that into kibble for our puppy. We're going to go ahead and set one of these beds to medical. That way, Maggie can get some treatment. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen from space and landed nearby. All right. That is handy. I like when money falls out of the sky. And here we go. We've gone them through the first few nights. Um, they are now fully healed, and back to work. But yeah, so some reason there are potatoes growing in between our tree trunks. Sure, sounds legit. I suppose that's how you get twice as much use out of a garden plot? <laughs> I don't know, or we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so let's take a quick glance here. And what I want to see... We have handling of eight. We could start taming muffalos already, but I don't want to get overly greedy and start running low on food. Meg, why are you sleeping outside, girl? Because she can. Oh, look at that. When I set one bed to medical, it set every bed to medical. That's new. I think it sets every bed in that room to medical now. You know, I don't love that. Because that early ability to flick one bed on and off really helps. So we're going to have to make up a separate room pretty darn quick. And I think that's going to be about where we leave it for today. We survived our first animal attack, got set up. We will be coming back tomorrow, and we will start talking about the big guns. Where to put them, how to use them what to load them with. <laughs> this is Sadie and GBAs. And we're signing off for now. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.